Hey guys, Greg here and welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be looking at how to play He-Man Women Hater by Extreme. It's one of their classic tracks which is taken from their most well-known album, Porno Graffiti. Uh, the album also features their biggest hit, More Than Words. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video about Nuno and from that someone requested that I did the riff to this song. And after looking on YouTube, there doesn't seem to be a video that covers all the parts. So apart from the Flight of the Wounded Bumblebee intro, and there's a solo at the end, which I must admit I found a little tricky to hear, so I've left it out. This is going to include all the parts. The song is in E-flat tuning, so here's a note if you want to tune down. Or if you want to pause the video and go and tune and go and do that. Uh, so without further ado, here is the riff. I'm going to play each part up to speed and then I'm going to break each bit down. So here is the riff at full speed. So it's going to start off with an A power chord and then we're going to do an open A straight after. So we've got... Then we're going to hammer on 3 and 4 on the A. Followed by open D. Then we're going to do 4, 3 as a pull off on the A and then pull off to A, open A. So we've got... I'm going to continue that. We're going to do 4 and 3 on the E string and then pull off to open E. So we've got... Straight after that, we're going to do a pinch harmonic and bend on the fourth fret of the G. <laughs> then we're going to follow that with a, uh, the second fret on the G. So. And then another open A power chord. So we've got. And it's almost the same again, but instead of doing open D, we're going to do open G this time. So. So up to speed, what we've done so far. Then we're going to go to this chord here, which is a C add 9 but with no 3rd. And we've got, which is a D power chord three times, two together and then one on its own. So Then we're going to slide 5 to 7 on the D. And then we're going to do seven on the B, so and slide both of those back together. So, and then we've got another D power chord, and we've got this little run here that goes like this. What that is is three to four on the D, and then two Gs at the second fret on the G, and then three and open on the D. So we've got, and then we've got that same run we did a little while ago. We do five to seven on D, seven on B, slide back, and then open E to finish. So all that together. And then it's almost the same again, but at the end it just finishes a little bit differently. So if I play it through, I'll show you. And what that is, is a G power chord. We're going to do three on the top string, then we're going to mute the A string with the arch of our finger. So. Open D, open G, and then three on the B. So we've got, and then that same D power chord we just did. So after we've played the riff through once, it actually repeats itself, but then a solo comes in over the top, which I'll just play through at full speed so you can hear how it sounds. <laughs> Is, we're going to start off with 15 on the E string as a bend, which he actually holds longer on the record, but you'll be able to hear exactly as it goes, just for the purpose of the video. I didn't want to make it quite as long. 
So then when the bend comes down, it's like a really long bend. Slowly, we're gonna do 15 and 12 in the E. Back to 15. Then 12, 15, 12. So. And then slide to 10 on the E. Then we've got 12, 10 and 8 on the E. But we're gonna pull off 12 to 10, then slide to 8. And then do that same kind of thing, but using 10, 8 and 7 on the E. Then we've got 8 and 7 on E. Then to 10 on B. Followed by 7 on E. And then 10 on B again. Pull off to 8 on B and slide 8 to 10. So. And then we've got this bit here that goes. Which is going to be 12 on the E to 10 on the B, and then we're going to do a big bend from 12 to 15 on the E string. It's like a tone and a half. And then after all that, we're going to slide 10 up to 14 on the E, and then hammer on 17, hammer on 20, and then pull those off, and then do that same thing again. So. Then we're going to follow that with 20 on the B and then pull off to 17, pull off to 14 and then do almost the same thing as we did on the E. So 20, 17, 14, hammer on 17, hammer on 20, pull off to 17, pull off to 14. So then we're going to do 14, slide to 10 on the B. Then we're going to pull off 13 on the B to 10. Then 11 on the G followed by 13 on the B. The next part we're going to look at is the first verse, which goes like this. I'll just play half of it, as it's quite long. So what that is, we're going to start off with two on the E string, or the uh, top E string, and then two on D and two on G twice. And then back to two on the top E. And then we're going to slide two and two on the D up to four. And then play that one again. Oh. Forget that sound. And we've got three open E's. Then back to two and two. Twice. And then we're going to do two and one on D and G. And then that same bit we just did, so then the next bit is going to be this, which is two on the A and four on D and four on G twice, back to uh, two on A. We've got. Then we're going to go up to a D power chord, which is 5 and 7 on the A and D strings. After the D power chord, it goes to an open E power chord, which is open 2 and 2. There's another one of those. Then we've got a slash chord, which is a, like a D with an F sharp in the bass. So we get 2 on the top. We're going to mute the A string, open D, 2 on G, 3 on B. One of those, and then a G power chord. So we've got... And that's all the parts of the first verse. So the next part of the song is the chorus that goes like this. I'll just play half of it, as again, that's quite long. And what that is, it starts off with three uh, open A power chords. And then we've got two G power chords. How we played them earlier in the song, so. And then back to an A power chord. So. Then we've got a slash chord. So we're gonna play a rhythm like that. It's gonna be two on the E and five on the A. 
and then we're going to do a power chord like this, a G power chord, but three on the top and then five on the A. So. And then we're going to do this here, where we do almost the same chord, but we're going to do... We're going to add a high F sharp as well, the four on the D. And then two more G power chords, three and five, so... And then some dead notes. So almost the same thing again, but just dead notes at the start. And then open E, and then two uh, two ones on the top string. And we're gonna go to two on the G. Top E. It's another one of those, so. We've got two on the G, back to three on the E, and then finish on four on the G. So the next bit is going to be very similar, it's going to start the same as it was. So I won't show you the first bit again as it's the same, but the last bit is going to be... So that bit is the same as it was. Then we're going to do one pull off to open on the E string. After that, it's going to be a hammer on from three to five on the chop string. Same on the A. And a slide to seven on the A. So then five on the D, uh, five on the G, and then finish on seven on the D. And that's all the parts of the chorus. So after that, it goes back to the intro riff, but we only play the second half of it, so it sounds like this. <laughs> then we've got the second verse, which is pretty similar to the first verse, but a little bit different, so I'll play through the first part of it. <laughs> And what that is, it starts the same as it was, so I'll just play it until it goes different. And we've got this bend here on the fourth fret on the D. And a pinch harmonic at the same time. So uh, then it goes back to how it was again, so... So that's all the same. Then it goes up to a D power chord like it did before. And then an E power chord, but instead of doing it here, we're going to do it up here, which is 7 and 9. And then we've got 9 and 12. And then 10 and 12. So after the second verse, we've got another chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus. Uh, and then after that, it's going to go back to the riff, exactly as it was to start with. So it's the... Um... So the next bit is a solo section which starts off with some power chords. I'll just play it through so you can hear how it sounds. And it does that twice. And what that is is an open E power chord and a G power chord, 3 and 5, E and A. 
Then an A power chord, five and seven E and A. Then that same thing again, so. And then straight back to an E open power chord. Now one more time. Then we've got the solo that comes in and uh, it starts off with 10, 11 on A and D. I'm going to slide to 11 and 12. So. Then there's this bit after that goes like this. And what that is. We're going to start with 12, hammer on to 14 on the G. Then we're going to do 12 on the B, so we get... Sorry. Then we're going to do 12 on G, 14 on D, so... Then we're going to bend up 15 to 17 on the B. Then we're going to play 15 normal. Then 12 on the B. Then 14, 12, 14, 12 on G. So, sorry. Then we're going to bend up 14 to 16 on G. And then we play 15 on B at the same time. So. And then uh, bend the 14 back to normal. So what that is is 12, and then bend 14 again, and then play 14 normal on G, then 12 on G, then 12 on D, and then hammer on 12 to 14 on D. So one more time. So one more time. Then we've got this next bit that goes like this. So what that is, we're going to hammer on 12 to 14 on G. Then we're going to play 15 on B. And then back to 12 on G. Then 14 on B. Back to 12 on G. 15 B, 12 on G. I'm going to bend 14 up to 15 on B, pull off to 12, then 14 on G, then two 12s on B, then 14 and 12 on G to finish. So you got... Then we've got a really fast run that uses demi semi quavers like eight notes per beat, and it goes like this. And if we break that down, it starts off with open E, and we hammer on seven to twelve. And we're going to hammer on, sorry, we've got open A, hammer on seven to twelve on the A string. So it's the same as what we did in the E. We're going to pull off as well. Exact same thing, but starting from A. So we've got then the exact same thing starting from D. But instead of doing the same thing from G, we're just going to carry on and do B and E as well. So all together. So then we've got a tapping section that uses major arpeggios. So I'll do the first one so you can hear how it sounds. And what that is, uh, tap 21 on D, pull off to 14 on D, uh, and then hammer on 16. Then we're going to tap 21 on G, pull off to 13, hammer on 16. 
Then we're going to tap 19 on E, pull off to 12, hammer on 16. Then tap 19 again, pull off to 16, pull off to 12. So. And then we're going to hammer on 16 on G, tap 21, pull off to 16, pull off to 13. So we've got. And that bit finishes with 16 on the D, which we're just going to hammer on with our little finger or your third finger if it's easy for you. Then we do that whole thing again. Then the same thing, but we're going to start on the strings above. So. Then we're going to do the same pattern, but instead of starting from the frets we're on, we're going to go two frets back. So this time I'm going to tap 19 on D, and then pull off to 12, hammer on 14, and then tap 19 G, pull off to uh, 11, hammer on 14. Then we're going to tap 17, pull off to 10, hammer on 14. Then tap 17, pull off to 14, pull off to 10. And then 14 on G, so we get. And the same on the way back as we did before. So that's going to be hammer on 14, tap 19, pull off to 14, pull off to 11. And then finish with 14 on D, so. Then we're going to do the same pattern, but start on the strings above. Up to there, and then it changes a little bit. We've got this bit, we're going to tap uh, 17 on B. And then 10, hammer on to 12, hammer on to 14. And then pull those off as well. Then tap 19 on B. And then pull off like we did a minute ago. So with the other bit. Then we do the same pattern as we were doing, but we're going to start with 17 on the D. Pull off to 10, hammer on to 12. Then tap 17 G, pull off to 9, hammer on 12. And then tap 15, pull off to 8, hammer off 12. And then the other way around. Hammer 12, uh, tap 17 on G, pull off to 12, pull off to 9. And then hammer 12 on the D. And that same pattern on the strings above. And it kind of stops there because the next bit is this lick here, which I'll play through. And what that is, we're going to bend 15 on the B up to 17, and then 12 on the E. And and then 15 to 12 as a pull off. And then 15 on the G. Back to 12. Uh. So after the 15 on the G, we've got 12 on the B, then 14 to 15 on G, 12 on B, and then we've got which is 16 on the G, 12 on the B, 15 on the G, 12 on the B. Which is 14, 15 on the G, 14 on the G, 12, and then 14 on D. And then finish that with 12, hammer on to 14 on G. So, so far. 
maybe a little pinch harmonic I think he does there. And then we've got 12 on G. So we've got 12 on G, 14 pull off to 12 uh, on the D. 14 on A. Finish on 12 on D. We're going to bend 12 on A. Bring it back. And then 12 on E. And then hammer t uh, 10 to 12 on A to finish. So so after the solo, it goes back to the riff. Uh, I'll play it through. It's a little bit different from the end. It goes. So it starts the same. Then we'll just play the strings open. And there's quite a long slide. I think it lasts about a bar. And then it's back into the chorus. So the chorus at the end is a little bit different. There's some different parts in it which we'll have a look at. It's going to start with. So up to that last bit is pretty much the same. And what that last bit is is going to be one on the top, pull off to open, and then we're going to do one, three, and five on the top string, and three, five, and seven on A, and then five and seven on D, and then five on G. And then seven and D, uh, seven and five on D, and then seven six five on A, three on A, finish on five on E. So after that run, it goes back to the chorus bit how it was before. So. the same up to there. Then we've got this bit that goes and what that is we're going to start on the third fret on the D string, we'll do two of those, then we'll do five on the E and three on the B and then back to three on the D. Then we're going to do five on D two fives on D and a five on E and then back to five on D and then seven on E then after that we've got this so what that bit is we've got nine on G and eight on E four of those, then we're going to go to nine on G and seven on E, and then three more of those, so, and then uh, nine on G and ten on B, uh, then we've got four of those, four nines on G and ten on B, then we've got two bends on seven on the G, so then we've got 5 on G, 4 on G, and open G. Then we're going to jump to 8 on the top E string. Then we've got these pull-offs, which is 9, 7, 5 on G. And the same on D. What that is, is 9, 7, 5 on G. And then 9, 7, 5 on D. And then 9, 7, 5 twice on G. And then 975 and D and 875 and A. So all together. 
Then we've got this bit. Which is uh, two ones on the E. And then a two on the G. Then a couple of moots. Then we've got this run here that goes. What that is is going to be 14 to 17 on D. And then 14, 17, 14 on G. Back to 17 on D. And 17, 14 on B. Same again on G. And then the same again on D. This chord of a slide, which is going to be 14 on G, 17 on B, and 17 on E. So we kind of hold that and then slide down. So the next bit I'll play through so you can hear how it sounds. So that's pretty similar to how it was before. The only difference is it comes in with a bend on the third fret on the A, and then we're back to the a power chord then. And it's all the same. This is where the solo comes in that I haven't looked at because, uh, like I said, it was a little tricky to hear. Uh, until right at the end, I'll just play the last bit. So we're going to have. Um... And then there's a D power chord, which is five on the A and seven on the D. We're going to kind of hold that and then slide down to nothing. And then right at the end, there's this riff that comes in that goes like this. I'll just play it. And what that is, is five on the A. And you're going to hammer on to seven on the A. And we're going to do five on D and then back to seven on A. And then we're going to do five on G and then finish on 7 on D, we've got and it does that three times and the last bit is going to be 5, 6, 7 on A and then 5 on D and then 8 and 5 on E to finish it so all together. And Nuno puts in some pitch harmonics in that bit. And it does that a few times. And then just before the last time it does it, it does this bit here that goes. And what that is, is going to be double stops on the uh, B and E string on the fifth fret. And then we've got a bend on the seven on the G. I'm going to pull off to five. So then we've got. So then we're going to do four double stops on B and E on the fifth fret. Then we're going to bend seven on G and bring it back down again. And then pull off to five on G. So. And then back to seven on G. So. And then we're going to bend seven again. And then we're going to go back to the double stops. And then we're going to bend the seven on G again. Pull off to five. And then play seven and five on G normal. And then we've got the riff again that goes. It's only like the last half of it. So instead of doing the first bit three times like we did previously, we're going to do it once and then we're going to finish with the. Um... There's plenty of pinch harmonics on those bits. So they're all the parts to He-Man Woman Hater. I hope you had fun playing through it. There's a backing track which I'll put a link to for you guys to play along to. Uh, let me know if there's anything else I can help you with, songs, solos, etc. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it as it really helps. And subscribe if you haven't already for new content every week. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.